Hi, this is Dr. A with a clinical chemistry review video on therapeutic drug monitoring, and we're going to look at antibiotics. All right, as an intro, um, some antibiotics are associated with severe side effects. Uh, the common side effects of toxicity of antibiotics are nephrotoxicity, meaning toxic to the kidneys, and ototoxicity, meaning toxic to the ears or hearing. Uh, chloramphenicol side effect is the toxicity to bone marrow. Uh, these drugs are typically drawn as trough and peak levels uh, in order to properly dose a patient. These levels have to be drawn correctly, and timing is extremely important. And it's really, really important to coordinate with the nursing staff to make sure that your timing is around the dosage of the drug. Uh, antibiotics can be bacteriostatic or bactericidal. Uh, antibiotics that are bacteriostatic usually just simply stop um, the bacteria from growing more, and then that allows your immune system then to be able to uh, fight them off and get gain the upper hand. Um, or they can be bactericidal, which means they actually right out kill the bacteria. Uh, antibiotics can be broad spectrum versus narrow spectrum. So broad spectrum of antibiotics work on a wide range of bacteria, gram positive, gram negative, maybe some cocci and rods. With uh, narrow spectrum antibiotics, um, the only work like tetracycline is narrow spectrum only work on certain specific bacteria. All of these drugs must be used judiciously, of course, in an effort to prevent antibiotic resistance. Uh, and that is a whole nother topic. Uh, so we have, there's a lot of antibiotic stewardship programs out there in the hospitals, and that is the aim. We want to be able to elim eliminate infections, but uh, not create more antibiotic resistant infections in the process. So we're gonna talk about aminoglycosides. So there are a group of chemically related antibiotics that are used to treat gram-negative bacterial infections that are resistant to the other less toxic antibiotics. They bind to bacterial ribosomes, and they have to be given IV or IM, and they are not used in an outpatient setting. So these are usually given in the hospital. Uh, amikacin is given every 12 hours. It is nephrotoxic, ototoxic with wrong use. Gentamicin is given every eight hours. It is also nephrotoxic or ototoxic with wrong use. Um, and this one, babies can get genomycin if they're uh, born to a group B positive, um, group B strep positive mom, uh, and this autotoxicity can make them deaf. Uh, so you have to be very careful with babies. Uh, canamycin is, uh, has also an oral version, obviously, but it's usually given IV or IM. Uh, it has also nephrotoxicity and autotoxicity with prong use, and tobramycin is nephrotoxic, autotoxic, and neurotoxic. So there you go. Those are all your aminoglycosides. Uh, vancomycin or vancosin HCL is a glycopeptide antibiotic that is effective against gram-positive cocci and bacilli infections. It inhibits cell wall synthesis. It is often used to treat MRSA, which is methicillin resistant staph aureus. It is administered the uh, eye by IV infusion, obviously meaning you usually have to get it in the hospital. Toxicities of vancomycin will include red man syndrome, nephrotoxicity, and autotoxicity. Um, red man syndrome is characterized by an erythemic flushing of the extremities, so they, they, they turn red, uh, the extremities of the patient turns red. Uh, and of course, it can also cause VRE, which is vancomycin-resistant enterococcus. Tegoplanin is a bactericidal antibiotic that's effective against both aerobic and anaerobic gram-positive bacilli, as well as gram-positive cocci. It is proven effective in the treatment of methicillin-resistant staph aureus or MRSA infections. Um, TDM is not routinely performed for tecoplanin as a relationship between the plasma concentration and the toxicity has not been established yet. Uh, chloramphenicol, uh, it can cross a placenta in the blood-brain barrier, and it can be toxic to the bone marrow. And that is it for your antibiotics.